to Crochet Knit Love by Joe. I'm Joe, and this is podcast 24. Hi, I'm late again. We've seen a pattern here, haven't we? I started off so well when I was doing these podcasts, but I just feel that particularly this year, I'm getting different things sort of um, being thrown at me loosely, not actually. Um, so yeah, it's uh, so sorry, sorry if you've been waiting to find out who the prize winner is. Um, I've been a bit rubbish. But I do have a prize winner um, for YouTube. I have announced the winner over on Instagram already today. So today, which I don't normally say the date, but today is Sunday the 6th of August. The reason I'm saying that is my wedding anniversary. I've um, been married 13 years to Mr H long-suffering husband that he is um been together a fair bit of time before that um happy anniversary if you're watching you're probably not but if you are um so yeah i'm quickly trying to record this because we're going to go for a really nice walk and have a bit of lunch out which is great i don't like a lot of fuss i don't like even i've got a big birthday coming up this year and i know 21 again and a few people say, you can have a party. No, I, I don't like any any fuss. I really don't. But I did drop a hint to Mr H that if um, he'd like to book a couple of nights away in this country, I'm fine with that, near uh, one of my favourite yarn shops. That'd be great. So it's not until October and it'll probably be rainy or snowy because never have the best of weather in October. But yeah, that's the hint I've dropped. Um. But what he did, I had somebody comment actually um, a couple of podcasts ago about my heart bracelet. And um, unfortunately, I don't know where it comes from. I did respond back. I don't know where it originates from. So um, when we go on our drawn up to Yorkshire uh, to skip him uh, for Yarndale, we, um, the last year when we went, um, because it's in September, birthdays in October, I saw this. And they have like this secondhand jewellery, almost like market stall. And they had this and I fell in love with it. And so um, Carl bought it me in advance of my birthday. I wasn't allowed to wear it to my birthday. That was the only not bit of fun. But yeah, I absolutely love it. So that's where that come from. Um, so what he has got me, we don't, I mean, we don't bother with anniversaries really. We don't do all the fuss with the cards and everything. But we did decide... Um, this year we would get each other a little something and Carl's bought me this beautiful, so I love silver jewellery in case you haven't noticed and it has shells on it and he's bought me that which I absolutely adore and because we live by the coast I like anything seaside -y. he actually got that, there was a someone who makes bracelets in, if I can remember their name I'll put it below, Um, actually over Hastings and with a little boat and he got me that for, I think it was Christmas. Yeah, I love the bracelet. But yeah, lucky. Being a sport. So that was lovely. Um, that was a really nice thing to do. Thank you. So anyway, I digress. Um, it's just because someone had commented on it. Um, I'm hot again. You'll be pleased to know. Absolutely boiling. We had a, I couldn't record a podcast for a good couple of weeks because we actually had a heat wave here. Um, lots of people loved it. I hated it. Um, I've mentioned before, being a woman of a certain age, one word, menopause, thank you. Um, yeah, too hot. We've had loads of rain lately. We've gone from one extreme to the other. We've had loads of heat and then now we've gone where we had like torrential rain, so much rain that it actually pushed the end piece of our guttering off. Um, so now we've got to try and get up a ladder and fix that, which is not great when your husband's seriously scared of heights. So yeah, we've got to get that fixed. But that was the rain, thank you, rain. So now it's a bit cooler, but I don't know about any of you, whether you're like me, when you podcast, you have to get all this stuff out and you have to, you know, might write a few notes. I get so hot just doing that. So um, if you were to watch the beginning bit of my recording, which obviously I'm going to edit out, you'll see me with my fan. <sighs> this. I know it's making a noise, but I'm actually <laughs> If you get warm, like me, there are obviously different brands. I don't even know who this brand is. I think I got this from a supermarket. 
you fill it up with water and you can spray it on your face or your neck or your feet, whatever floats your boat. And it has the fan on it. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, quite often you'll see me with my knitting in one hand and then this in the other. But yeah, just random, random waffle. So I have got some notes, so I'll try and keep a little bit of routine with this. Um, I've been doing, I've been making a few projects. Making a, Basically, I've got a few works in progress. Quite a few. I've started things, I've been too hot or I've been tired. It's, do you find that when you're doing a project, your mood can kind of determine what you do? Hopefully I'm not the only one because I sound like a weirdo. Um, but yeah, I'm still obsessed with making double knit socks. absolutely love it. And I've got some to show. I'm pretty sure I've left another pair downstairs. Um, I've got a new colourway for Winnie Jean, which I have to say is my favourite so far. I actually want to make all the things with it. I just love it. It's right up my street for colours. What I'm going to show you first though, because I haven't got anything crochet to show except for have you seen that's my little dog scratching the door trying to get him i'm gonna take one out so i can hold it up oh, have you ever seen so they're on silver hooks oh granny square earrings i'm hoping you can see them i hope so i won these and I'm going to put the maker below because I've just realised I haven't actually wrote the name down. I'm so sorry. Rubbish. Um, you need to go and check this lady out. She is amazing. I, being a crocheter, I couldn't make these. The um, product that she'll use to make these is on such a small hook. I would literally get cramps in my hands. I couldn't do it. So I got picked on Instagram to win a pair of crochet earrings adore them they are the best thing ever cannot recommend i'm going to keep the name under here for a little while so you can go and check her out um so so i got contacted saying i won the prize which i was a tad excited about and then i could pick the colorway that i wanted and i'm really big on teals and turquoise but actually my wedding dress was turquoise um but while well, she she didn't have those exact colours, but was going to actually buy them in specially, which I didn't want her to do. So I picked pinks, which go really well because I do like pink as well. And oh, they're lovely. They're light. They're so well made. I'll take them out again in case you want to have another look. Look at them. Oh, they are adorable. Um, everyone should wear crochet earrings. I'm sorry. Everyone should. So please, please go and check her out. I will be buying more of these earrings because I wasn't sure. I've seen a number of them on Instagram and I wasn't sure the weight of them. I mean, obviously this is only, it's only when you actually see them you appreciate how wonderful and light they are. And they come beautifully packaged. And I mean, I was going to leave them packaged, but I thought if I actually put them in my ears, hopefully I won't forget to show them. But yeah, they are. So please go and check her out. Go and support her. I'm so supportive of local makers and online makers. Um, it's a beautiful craft. And yeah, I'm a bit... Oh, I adore them. They're just beautiful. So I'm actually going to put them <clears throat> on my Instagram page so you can see them. I thought I'd show them on the podcast first. But yeah, they amazing. Amazing maker. Um, Should we show some of the works in progress? So what have I been making? What haven't I been making? So I am really enjoying walking and knitting. So socks are perfect for this. And I'm working on this sock. So this colourway is, <clears throat> I've got a couple of different yarn makers to show you yarn wise. Sorry, I've got, I need to be putting it in bags. I did that in case it rained. I didn't want the yarn getting wet. So this yarn, is by Cooks and Crafts, who I've mentioned before. And this is called Beach Hutch. Very good at naming a yarn. I'm not so good at naming my yarn. Um, and she's up in Aberdeenshire. And this was the colourway from the last bi-monthly um, box. You can pick, you get goodies in it. I've mentioned it before. You can pick yarn, but I'm just picking on the yarn. And that's 
where I am so far, just working my way on the foot. Isn't that nice? That's such a cheerful colourway. So that's what I've started. Because if I'm walking, um, even if I've got several socks on the go, I'll try and take one that has quite a bit of just straight knitting. I don't want to be doing heels and toes. That would not be so great. Um, right, oh, I've got to show you that because that's in Winnie's colourway. Oh, this jumper. I'm actually getting bored now because I just want to finish it. But it was too warm. It, it no i tried and um no way too warm so this is what, oh, the thing is here we go again um i'm not that far off finishing it so just finish it so i'm hoping because it's been a bit cooler but then it, since then i've started several other projects so not ideal so i finished sleeve this is the simple sweater by tin can knits and this is knit using stylecraft recreate it's a very reasonably priced yarn i had actually run out of it so some of the flex in it um i've got a mixture so i've got some that have blue on it and i have some that have bits of yellow in it if you can see that so i finished yeah finished why have i stopped then too warm it's got to be that so i haven't finished the bottom i actually was concerned i couldn't get the yarn so i stopped so i'm going to carry on with the band and i am just finishing the sleeves i'm sorry this why have i not i should finish this look how far off i am right i'm going to finish this before next podcast this can be finished I'm not sure i'll be wearing it but i can't wait to wear it isn't that nice isn't that nice crochet earrings knitted jumper Knitted socks. Roll on autumn. Sorry. I know a lot of you love summer. I love I love summer. I just I'm really I can't sit in the heat anymore. I have to, I'm always under an umbrella, so um whereas Carwes just loves the sun. Not me. I'm under an umbrella with the dog. Yeah, so I have nearly finished that. So get my backside in gear and we'll have that finished. It wasn't it wasn't because i was like i couldn't be bothered and start it you can't knit jumpers when it's too hot you really can't go i also started which i don't think i've made a note of the name because that would be too helpful i have no babies in my family but i really want to i saw this cardigan i'm going to put the name of it underneath and it comes in baby sizes up to adult sizes and i'd like to make the adult one it's basically knit in one piece and then you add bits to it um but they recommend trying the baby version so this does not look like a cardigan but i've used because i had a couple of extra skeins of cookston craft yarn from the last month's one i'm actually using it to knit um it's cardigan it's actually that way on that side can't quite figure out quite how it goes yet but from the pictures that's actually the front part and then that will be the back and then how it's seen together you've seen the shoulders across i think it's kind of like that kind of yeah i think that's where the sleeves are um I did figure out how it constructs together so this is going to be really little cardigan i'm going to finish this because i wanted to understand the construction of it before i did the adult one and this is in double knit yarn but at the minute it just looks like just a blob of knitting but yeah i've been working on that and then because i was too warm the jumper i started a tin can knits flax short sleeved lightweight top and i'm doing it in sock yarn how slow is it knitting a top in sock yarn it's my first one um i'm gonna show you that in a mo just when i'm because i'm going to show you um when this colorway that's it uh, i'm going to show you a couple of um yarn dyers or monthly subscriptions that you can get so I've mentioned this company before. If you haven't got Yarnworks's colorway for August, look away because I'm going to show it. Yarnworks is a shop up um, it's Ipswich area. I uh, met them in person. They donated a prize for 
the a podcast many podcasts ago and i get them monthly it's emma john and i get the monthly colorway from them highly recommend it, it comes in a lovely little bag and i get the one where it's the dk sock yarn and i get a mini so this was the mini which is called fame and fortune lovely purple and colourway so this is august 23's colourway emma jean it's got the pretty orange of it that is lovely that reminds me of a what's the sweet is it rhubarb and custard sweets i'm showing my age here um not good for your teeth but very nice and moorish um reminds me of a sweet okay isn't that a lovely colourway so that was August one. And then another one that I've tried, and I've not tried this lady's yarn club before, but I do have some of the yarn, is Beehive Yarn. So this is the Explore Simple Pleasures Yarn Club. Should have said if you haven't got the, I think this was last month's. I'm sure you've all got it. I'm a, I am a little bit behind. And I get, yeah. Um, the 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon which is the same as Emma Jean and the mini so basically I can make yummy socks and I love the colours in that so that was her one she also has a podcast which is very sweet she doesn't get to post um, that often but she shows you all the different things she's making and her yarn so she does a really good, good podcast um, another podcast I want to mention is um Boxer Homesteadville, which I think I've got right. <laughs> How can I not know? My brain's gone so much today. Um, we actually have become friends and she's more than 4,000 miles away, which I just find amazing. So back in the uh, olden days, as they say, we used to call them pen pals. That's what you used to have, you'd write a letter and, it, and you'd hear something about weeks and weeks later. Um, she was actually one of my podcast winners and i sent the, the yarn off and we've exchanged tons of messages and she has her own podcast you need to go and check it out it's lovely she rescues boxers who are adorable dogs as it is she puts different videos that dogs might be on their own videos and she talks about different makes She's a very very clever knitter lives on a beautiful property with amazing um trees and just colour oh, it's lovely um slightly different than where i am where we live we've kind of got garden 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 like you do in england when they cram all the houses together um she has lots of nice space and birds and just oh it's lovely i've seen a number of videos and she sent me some videos as well so we've actually become friends but have never met and um it's just great you're just checking on each other we have yarny chat we talk about our families um and yes yeah, she's become a friend and i just wanted to give her podcast a shout out she has actually given mine a sh beat me to it given mine a shout out um and we're hoping hoping if we can figure out the technology we're actually going to do a podcast together which will be amazing she suggested it um last week i think it's a brilliant idea so that'll be coming soon and you'll be able to see that on both of our um youtube channels so hi <laughs> um so yeah please go and check her out i think it's really important we support each other's podcasts There's, you know a lot of people out there have got tons and tons of followers for us smaller podcasters you kind of dabble with it um all the likes and subscribes and comments you know i respond back to every single one of them and the fact that i'm meeting new people or making friends through it it is worth all the effort um, to do a podcast that's the best bit I've got out of this is meeting new people can't put a price on that so yeah go and check her out for me please um so what else get warmer and warmer me aren't I oh, I'm such a oh what am I like right before I go off on the tangent I come up with a no shush right stop have a minute stop I'm going too fast. Um, prize winner. Let's announce the prize winner. So the prizes, which I've announced one on Instagram and the prize for YouTube, 
both were going to get a £20 gift voucher to spend on Winnie's yarn at my website, Crochet Knit Love by Joe, which I've put below. Um, I've done the two giveaways because I've recently transferred over to that where I've got my own website again and that's where my yarn and Winnie's colourways will be there. I hope to add more other products to it, but at the minute it's just got Winnie's yarn on it. So the winner, you had to pick what yarn you would, um, or you had to say on the comments below, what yarn you would pick if you won the £20 voucher. So, and the prize winner um, to win this um, £20 voucher is, now when Jay picked it, it was only after when I checked, because I let him pick it, I thought, I'm sure you, I'm pretty sure this lady's won a pattern before. So it's worth you entering each time, because sometimes you win twice. The winner, Sharon Wiggle, yarns the word. You've won the £20 voucher. Yay, congratulations. Um, email me or message me on Instagram, and I will send you the voucher code to spend in Winnie Shop on the yarn. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to do a, another giveaway and it will be for a skein of Winnie Jean because I like Winnie Jean I'm biased I know and I'm going to let you pick your own skein from the shop so whatever's there for sale you can pick one of those and I will send it to you it gives you more choice I know sometimes I pick the colorway but I'm feeling generous so Winnie's colorway so I, I've I'm in a bit bonkers with this colorway so I had Sometimes it will be a picture or just something where I think I really want to put those colours together. But when you do it, it isn't necessarily what you had in your head, but I absolutely love it. So I've already knitted one sock in Winnie's sock. I've actually done it quite a big sock. And I've also, I did a bit of neon pink. Obviously Barbie movies out, which it's not for everyone, but I do like a bit of pink. So that's the colourway. I've done a neon top, which I absolutely love that neon, but that is the colourway. And I have to say it's probably my favourite colourway because it's got different shades of pink in it. Which you can see it that side. It's got shades of green. It's got some magenta in it. It's got deep greens. I'm biased, I know, but I absolutely love this colourway. And depending what base it is, so the DK is quite a dark colours on it. But when you do it on, I've got a lot here, I've got a whole basket full of it. But once I started dying out, I actually couldn't stop. A crazy woman. So that's what the skein looks like. On the colourway. Hopefully you can see that okay. And... Where's the sock? That's the sock. So if you look, it's not much difference. That's hold on. What am I doing? No. That's sock. That's DK. Ignore me. Right, DK sock. It's got some speckles in it. Really like the green in that. That's a good Christmassy green as well. Um, I did some in the cotton nep. You can see that depending on, it comes out slightly darker. I do like that. So that was the cotton. I've actually, I'm going to show you. Because it, it's obviously been warm, as I keep mentioning, I get really warm. I started the tin can knits. Um, but, but I my first lot come out quite light so that was how the net come out first so I thought I'm going to use those three skeins up that I was playing with to start a t-shirt version of the flax and you never guess what my wait you remember my original mustard colour jumper where basically I decided to do loads of pearls on the arm because I didn't read the pattern right I've actually got it right this time I actually read the pattern properly I just had the little row that is it will fit me. It looks quite small at the minute, but it's got loads of stretch. It will block beautifully. And that's the nep in the latest Winnie's colourway. I seriously like this. I know I'm biased and there's so many amazing dyes out there, but I really am pleased with this colourway. Um, So this is the darker version. 
I am on my second skein of this so three will do it easily because it's only going to have um, a little uh, ribbed sleeve to it an end because it's not going to have long sleeves by the time I finish this it'll probably be winter and um, the little bits of nap do come off like they have here little bits come onto your clothing um, but I think it will settle down once it washes, and it creates kind of bumps, a bit like slob, where it's sort of lumpy and bumpy. But that's what I've been working on as well, because I love the colourway so much. I did the socks, I'm going to have the top. Might look a bit duffer and all the colourway together. But this is obviously a lighter version. And yes, the only thing is I will say it's taken ages because the stitches are a lot smaller. And that is in my Emma Ball. Uh, Janie Crow Persian Tiles bag. Love that. So yeah, that's what I did with that. I've also that's a hundred that's a hundred percent merino. So you can see it's darker. So depending on the base, it takes the colour slightly different. So that's the DK sock yarn, and that's the hundred percent merino. That would make a really lovely cowl or gloves or hat. So I want a hat in there as well. Can you imagine it? Hat, top, socks, it's a skirt in there. Might as well go the whole hog. I've also got several of the chunky yarns. So that's the chunky knit. I'd actually got some of that because I love the colour so much. I have dyed several of them. I think I've got three. I've got three. And then I've just got this one where I added a little bit more gold to it, which I'm going to use myself because it's like the odd one out. Because Sometimes when I do use the colourways, I'll actually add a little bit extra and just see how I like a bit of experimenting. So it's these three here. This is so squishy. So that's the chunky one. I did also some 50 grams, oh, it's a gram, 50 gram sock yarn. So you could actually, you could knit some shorties. If you add cuffs and toes and heels, out of the 100 grams, you can easily get two pairs of socks, but you might want to do two pairs of shorties. So that's the sock. I told you I've gone mad with the colourway, honestly. I was like, what is the matter with me? So this is the actual sock yarn in the 100 grams. And you'll see it's more it's a brighter I would say it's brighter let me see if I can get brighter lighter it just takes the dye slightly different yeah that's the sock yarn which I've got several of them I was I thought the top would look nice in that but I've done it in the cotton one with the bits of net because I thought these will just make amazing socks. And I've got quite a few in here. I mean, I've got basket. Some more sock, double knit. I will be able to recreate this colourway. I actually wrote down the recipe, very efficient of me, because I know I will want more of this for myself, let alone if nobody else does. Um, I haven't put these on the website yet. I am due to, I've just got to um, take the photos and get them loaded. I just, I've been a bit behind, what with my back and life just gets in the way. Oh, I found another one. See, I don't even know, I will do my inventory. That is so soft, I really want a hat. So one of these skeins is not gonna, skeins is not gonna make the website because I'm so making a hat with it. Um, yeah, so there's quite, quite a bit of this colourway because it is yeah it's my favourite I like all the colourways but this one when I did it I thought oh, it's so so my cup of tea so that will be all over there's quite a few I'll do a full inventory of it and I need to sell some more yarn to make way to get more yarn in we don't live in a big house and I don't have a lot of storage so I'm gonna get to kind of maximum capacity for storage soon so it will mean I will have to put new colourways on hold till I've sold some more. Um, Winnie's yarn actually has its own 
cupboard area now because there's so much of it um yes yeah, so and that's i also that was obviously a bit so we all know i love slob i will be making a slob jumper but i did neon pink actually need sunglasses wearing that that i love and then that's the one i use that isn't the sock yarn that's just um pretty sure that's 100 percent merino um that's what i did the tops of the socks with and i did like a fawn color slob because you can mix these with other you know if you've got a yarn color a certain colorway like even that you could mix with it and it'll just pick pops of brown in it um but yeah i love the slob i did a more muted oh it's all the pink yeah, a bit crazy. I did a grey slob. I do like slob. And then I started messing because I don't have a lot of like lemons and golden colours and sunflower -y. So that was lovely. And then I did another one. I was obviously feeling very pinky, yellow. Yeah, I was just experimenting. I love experimenting with colour. Oh, here's another bright one. Get my sunglasses on. That looks so good in the jumper. And then I did, so I was, I did go a bit mad with the yarn dyeing, as you can see. I just messed about with different shadings. It's basically when you're doing the yarn dyeing, you can add so much of the powder in. So I'll make up a big container of dye and then it will be a certain strength and then I will dilute it. And that's kind of where you'll have the stronger strength. And then as it dilutes down, it's like what they call a fade if people are doing a fade. So they, did I do any others? That's another one of them in there. I had that many, I needed two baskets full. And yeah, I think I was playing around, look at this. <laughs> I was playing around when you get colour left over, but you'll see on this one, can you see those little blobs of pink? Because I just threw it in. If you don't wash the dye pan, you'll end up with other bits of colours, but that's fine because I'll use that in something. Um got i've done the brown one i think that was all and then i messed about because i had a tweed one and i'd got these yarns but the, the plain yarn to dye I hadn't done anything with it so i just played around with the color of it and thought oh, that would make a nice jumper i've just got so many things i want to make and i don't have enough hours if i could do yarn dyeing full time and making i would but it's not gonna pay my bills unfortunately so um I just get to talk about it with yourselves and hopefully some of the, you, I'll list this all on the website. You can go and check it out. But yeah, it's a mad, mad woman when it comes to yarn dyeing this, or well, last month, it was July, yeah, we're in August already. So have I covered everything? Yes. Whew, I can breathe now. I did feel like I went 100 miles an hour. <laughs> what am I like? Um, I've enjoyed this. Um, I'm hoping so. Where are we? We're gonna have a couple. We're gonna have a couple of weeks off work. Yes, lots of knitting. Yes, um, and then we're gonna actually have a. Uh, we're hoping to have a. Well, we are gonna have a week away. Um. So I'm hoping I'll have lots more stuff to show you next time. So it may be. It. I, if I'm honest, I think it's. It will be maybe three weeks before I next do another podcast because we've got a couple of weeks, and. I want to make sure that I'm hopefully a bit more organised than this. But yeah, have a break. It's good having a break for work. I think even if you don't go anywhere, it's so expensive to go away. Just having some time out and knitting or crochet, yarn dyeing, whatever you do, whatever you enjoy, reading, sleeping. My husband loves sleeping. Um, it doesn't matter if it means you're not working. Yay! But yeah, it's. it's it's going to do us good we are ready for a recharge it has been um quite full on um with a lot of personal stuff going on so it's just been ah oh, anyway don't forget to like and subscribe it helps and comment below i love it when people comment um like i said earlier i'm you know i'm making friends through this as well so it's so worth doing if nothing else um but yeah, like and subscribe. Go and check me out. I'm over on Instagram. Um, I'm going to post more things on there. I had a bit of a dip. 
where I wasn't posting so much, but I'm going to get back into that. Full steam ahead. So whatever you're doing this summer, obviously if it's summer, I mean, different parts of the world, it's not summer. Um, but whatever you're doing, if you get a break or spending time with family or making things, um, yeah, take some time out for yourself because that's so important. And I will see you really soon. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Um, comment below. Um, did I put what the giveaway was going to be? Oh, I've put that you'll pick something off my um, website. But did I say what you had to do? Oh, I did. I did. So all you need to do is comment below um, what you like doing when you're on holiday. There you go. Would help if I said that. It just gets a bit of interaction. Right. I'm going to go and I'm going to have a cold drink. I'm going to cool down before we go off the board. Um, and celebrate our anniversary.